Hey everyone, the story man here. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. If you guys have any suggestions or any other additions that you'd like me to add, you can give me constructive criticism in the comments. Anyways, enjoy this video. Lacey Spears was born in Decatur, Alabama on October 16th, 1987, and had an obsession with American Girl dolls during her childhood. Now she would act like the doll was her very own child, whether it would be walking down the street with it, feeding it, and even reading it bedtime stories. Now according to experts, the reason as to why she developed this obsession was because she was experiencing abuse in her very own home as a child. During her childhood, she would often conjure up fake stories in order to get attention due to her low self-esteem. She went on to become a babysitter. However, she would often post pictures of other people's babies on MySpace acting as their own mother, which shortly led to her being fired on multiple occasions. Later in life, she gave birth to a baby boy named Garnet on December 3rd, 2008. Unfortunately, Garnet's father, Blake, passed away due to getting in a car accident before Garnet's birth. Once Garnet is taken out of the hospital, however, he started to show signs of malnutrition and dehydration. His mother rushed him to the hospital as soon as possible in order for doctors to monitor and cure his condition. However, all they could find was a high amount of sodium in his bloodstream. Following this, Garnet was taken to the hospital over 20 times during only the first year he was born. During the whole ordeal, Lacey takes to social media, writing multiple blog posts about Garnet's condition and even has a dedicated page on Facebook. Doctors later state that Garnet doesn't have a sufficient nutrition intake. Soon, they implant a feeding tube on Garnet's stomach to allow him to consume his necessary intake. Since Garnet's case was so special, doctors allowed Lacey to take the feeding tube home and control Garnet's diet. Now pay attention to that last part because it'll come into play later into the video. As time goes on, Garnet's condition improves. However, physicians tell her that Garnet no longer needs the tube since he's improving. However, she's very hesitant to remove it, so every time a doctor advises Lacey to remove Garnet's tube, she just discards her advice and just changes doctors, without the new doctors knowing about Garnet's condition. Whenever Garnet's under extensive care, his symptoms slowly start disappearing. However, when he's taken back to his mother, his symptoms start to get worse and worse. With each hospital visit, Lacey continues writing stories on her Facebook page, and slowly garners more of that sweet attention that she's been craving. It had gotten so bad to the point that Garnet has actually been spending more time in the hospital than actually staying at home with his mother. Until one day, it all came to a stop on January 19th, 2014, when Garnet had an emergency and had to be airlifted to Westchester Medical Center in New York. During his time, he seems to be slowly recovering from the ordeal until he's put on life support and abruptly dies four days later due to brain damage and swelling. The only thing doctors could find during the emergency was a high amount of sodium in the boy's bloodstream. Police investigate the case further and find out that as Garnet was on the verge of death, Lacey called her neighbor and asked her to throw Garnet's feeding bag in the trash. And as she was about to throw it out, she eventually hands the bag over to the police and what they found was appalling. The amount of sodium comparable to 69 McDonald's salt packets. Police further uncover CCTV footage of Garnet seeming perfectly normal until Lacey takes him over to the bathroom, resulting in him experiencing intense pain shown in his actions. And as a result, these two important events lead Lacey Spears to be convicted and arrested due to her involvement in the killing of her son using a feeding tube filled with salt. She ultimately lied about the entire ordeal, from his mysterious condition coming up, his hospital visits, her blog posts and updates, and even the story of his father passing away in an incident was all a facade, a story that she made up just for attention. She wanted attention so badly that she'd even kill her own son for it. She's given 20 years to life in prison for her crimes and will be released in June 2034. Throughout her life in prison, she's complained that other inmates harass her by putting large amounts of salt in her meals which I find very ironic, considering the situation. Hey everyone, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And uh, depending on how well this video does, I'll continue the series. And um, yeah, 
See you all in the next one.